Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another glorious nation of Liberia. I want to give a quick thank you to Tyler Wolfson Smith. He has actually made great drawing of Flag of Liberia. We now appoint him Minister of Art of Liberia. Very good job, Tyler. Anyway, well, guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining us and thank you, Tyler, for that awesome picture. Um, I am going to be, of course, continuing here with Liberia. Uh, it's been a while, it's been a few days since we have made any conquests, and I think that it's time for us to start to consolidate, to start to build our country up. As you can see, we're actually doing pretty well on rail capacity, we're even doing well on road capacity, which is amazing. But I think that we could also possibly start a war with Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. Um, I believe if we take over them, uh, we're going to do just basically great things for our people. Uh, we're going to take a tremendous amount of land. And the, the great thing about Ivory Coast is this is actually valuable land. Uh, also, what is this? Oh, my goodness. I like how Ghana looks. The, the troops don't look very strong at all. Uh, the Ivory Coast troops are definitely using regular infantry, so this might be a bit harder for us to, to accomplish. Uh, but we're going to try anyway. So I'm going to basically send guys here. And I was actually thinking, guys, of attacking Mali because they're in their civil war. But when you guys see the defensive power of Mali, you're going to shit yourselves. Look at this. Look at this. 2028. I mean, that is a huge army. A massive army. And um, no wonder they've been able to fight those rebels off for so long. They've been at war with those rebels for years. Uh, and I think I understand why. So I'm actually going to leave one of the um, troops back here. One of these armies. Not the 35th army. Uh, maybe the 23rd Army will leave him back here. We'll move the 35th Army, of course, uh, into the border next to Ivory Coast. And we will see if possibly uh, we can go ahead and attack them. I don't know if we should, but we're going to decide pretty quickly here. And now that we've got roads, we can actually move our troops uh, without actually having to worry uh, too much. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab... Wow, we still have more troops? This is crazy. We finally run out of roads, <laughs> but that's uh, that really goes to show you that we have a lot of guys here uh, willing to fight. So we're going to go ahead and move these guys, this guy forward as well, and let's end our turn. Okay, glorious Liberia. It's going to take a little while for us to get there, of course, but all of those trucks, um, they're really cool to see. It just lets me know that we have definitely the ability to start a war here, but whether or not we want to is another question. I mean, to be honest, Ivory Coast is not weak, per se. I'll take a look at their military strength pretty soon here, but they actually look like they could withstand a war with us, and uh, I worry about that. But maybe, just maybe, we can at least take over some of the areas here, uh, and if we do that, then we've still made a successful victory, in my opinion. All right, military industrialization. You guys know we need it. Uh, we're going to get some anti-air guns and trench works, and actually, we have not been building trench works in uh, Liberia, which we probably should be. Uh, then again, it's not a huge deal. Uh, right now because we're not being attacked by the enemy but uh, it's definitely something we want to consider especially since we're running uh, a military dictatorship here by the way i want to take a look um, as i told you guys before uh, the government support is only 12 percent now and the people desperately want a change to theocracy the actual support for theocracy is ridiculous um, just as an example if i click instigate a coup uh, we could take a look here dictatorship of course we already have that so let's go to theocracy uh, you can see 90% of the people support it. Um, now, the state nationality of Liberia and the religion is Protestant, but I'm not sure if this is a great idea. We're going to get a lot of support from the people, but I think we should let the uh, dictatorship, oh, the republic, I mean, of course, withstand the brunt of these wars, and then maybe we will switch to a uh, different form of government. I wouldn't say a more appreciable one, because a religious theocracy is not going to be a great government. Um, and I don't think we're going to ever go back to democracy uh, unless we accomplish our goal of taking all of Western Africa. Then we might consider it, uh, but only consider it, of course. Oh, South Africa. Now, that's someone we don't want to have to deal with because they actually have a pretty good military. Um, and, of course, they're quite a ways away from us, so I don't think we'll have to anyway. Uh, but if they give support to one of these countries, military support, uh, to fight us, that's going to be uh, a problem for sure. All right, not bad. These guys are still on the way, of course. I'm going to let them all get here. And I'm actually going to keep building troops in some of these locations. Um, I don't want to be... I don't want to build troops everywhere because we just don't have... Uh, don't have the money for it. It costs too much. We don't even have the food. As you can see, we're already at plus six on food. We are making a little bit on money, but that's only because I've increased taxes. Yes, of course. I had to do it. Now I sound Irish. What the fuck is wrong with me, actually? <laughs> but anyway, um, I did uh, increase taxes, and uh, this is why we're making a little bit of a profit. But uh, that money is slowly 
draining. You know, it's slowly going down, so we really need to make a move soon. Um, I think I still have troops being built in one or two counties, one or two areas, and I think that's pretty much enough for now. Uh, we've got a pretty large army, as is. Wow, Kingdom of Sarawak has declared independence from Malaysia. And look at that uh, flag. That is an awesome flag. I've got to give it to the Kingdom of Sarawak. Uh, best of luck. I don't think they'll be able to beat Malaysia. But it should be interesting to see how they do. Uh, and this is actually Indonesia. Uh, Malaysia's up here. Right, let's get back to Africa. Back to Africa. All right, here we go. So we still have a rebellion here. I don't like that. Or riots, anyway. Sunni Islamic riots. Um, and that's making me very, very uncomfortable. So I'm going to take a look here, actually. And just real quickly... Doing something wrong. Aha! Alright, here we go. We've got our unpaved roads going. Military units. We should be able to build light cavalry here. That's a little strange. Alright, let's take a look at the other area here. Gambia. Um, and I'll actually go straight to the power station. And there we go. So we are building engineers in Gambia. Uh, I think that's actually good. Oh, no, 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 not militia. Um, we're going to keep building the engineer units and, uh, and pumping them out. And I'll take a look here. I'll try to get into our recruitment center once again. Uh, and actually, we've got a barracks here. So I'm going to start building some light cavalry here uh, just to make sure that we are getting the most out of our military. The last thing we need is to start a war that we can't finish. So let's at least build uh, in those three areas, and we'll go ahead and continue. Once these guys actually get into their positions, then we will start the war. But I want to make sure that they are all here. You know, I want to make sure that we're not going to have any issues. And the worst thing that could happen is we, if we have another major revolt uh, like we did in Sierra Leone uh, during this war, that's going to be a major problem too. So we may just need to accept the fact that we'll get out of this war with maybe some territory, and that's probably good enough. Okay, Kingdom of Tajikistan. <laughs> Again, another monarchist revolt. And I love seeing these because each one of these monarchist revolts, and look at those troops, each one of these monarchist revolts pushes us up higher on the uh, on the international ladder. You know, these are countries, these are monarchies coming out of, of democracies and things like this uh, that just can't really sustain themselves very well. So it actually makes us look a lot better, and uh, we basically start uh, ahead of them on the prestige ladder of the game, which is really, really cool. So let's take a look here at the Ivory Coast Defenders, 15-13, 7-13. I think we could do it, but it's going to be a tough fight. Um, and of course, the people have had a lot of war. In fact, endless war in Liberia. Uh, so I hope that this will be the final war, the war to end them all. Of course, we still have a lot of land to take. But if we were able to take uh, beautiful Ivory Coast, I mean, just imagine how incredible Liberia is going to look. And then, of course, we can easily move over here um, to, I believe this is... This is Ghana. What is this? Is this Togo? I got it right. It's Togo. And over here, also Benin. We could take all these areas. Um, and obviously, that's part of our goal, part of our war goal. And we'd have a massive amount of coastal uh, trade, at ports, etc. We could really build up the African economy. Okay, enough talk. Time for glory. Okay, of course, guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and charge in to crush the enemy in uh, Ivory Coast. And I'm hoping that we have enough... To beat these guys. Don't forget they are a uh, decent uh, actual African country in terms of their military power, in terms of their ability uh, to create things, and honestly in terms of their resources. So I am going to be very happy taking over this place if it works out, of course. And I hope that every man will fight just as hard as the next. Uh, if not, it would be possibly sacrifice. We do not know. Uh, but really, we need to make all our guys fight. And like I said before, I'm going to let the dictatorship take the brunt of this war. Of course, the uh, war weariness is going to keep going up. Even in a dictatorship, people get sick of constant warfare. And that's what we've been doing. But if we can take this area, if we can take uh, Ivory Coast and move on to other areas, uh, that would just be amazing. Maybe even take Togo next. Um, and uh, that's going to make me for sure very happy. Now, we do have a unit up here, and I think I'm going to keep this guy here just to watch. Make sure no rebels pop up. Last thing we need is another civil war. Okay, here we go, guys. The invasion begins. 
and hopefully it's going to be a good invasion where we actually uh, get some decent victories. Uh, I can't wait to see just what the stacks are going to be like against each other. Our men are charging the enemy trenches. They certainly have some machine guns ready, but I don't think they're as well trained as our men. Our men are battle-hardened, battle-tested. They have seen many wars. Glorious. Okay, we take a look now. So as you can see, 6-5, those are not good odds. Um, we actually need to get some reinforcements in here. So I'm going to immediately send reinforcements into Sassandra. Um, I might even actually go ahead and get this guy and hope that there aren't any riots and get to Sassandra quickly. We're obviously going to be building units constantly, so we don't necessarily have to worry about that. And it actually looks like the uh, people of Ivory Coast are sending their capital army against us. Um, so they're leaving their capital here at Agnebi. Oh, how I wish we had built some ships. We could have just dropped them off right here um, and flanked the enemy. But I, I think we can fight this way and still get to victory. At least let's hope so. Here we go. Whoa, we need more men. Of course, we just built two units, but uh, what the shit just happened? Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> um, I think I actually just hit the uh, tilde key, and uh, something very bizarre occurred. Um, you just saw the gray screen of death that the enemy is about to see. Uh, it is called the, the basically the front coating of a bullet. All right, here we go. So we are uh, general mobilization. Actually, Ivory Coast has cha changed to general mobilization, and uh, I definitely want to grab these guys right here, the 40th Army, and immediately move them into Sassandra. Uh, and it looks like the enemy is actually getting pretty decent reinforcements. What about over here? Now, uh, in Odien, as you can see, once again, getting decent reinforcements, guys. Um, it's very, very even fight. And this is what I said. This is going to be a very even war. Uh, and that's why I was worried. That's why I was concerned. But you forced me. You all forced me to do this. I blame you all. Um, actually, no, I blame myself, but we can still win here. Um, it's just going to be a lot harder to win than initially expected. Let's make sure that we're building just about everywhere I can build infantry. I want to build infantry. So let's go to Bissau. Uh, let's get some infantry from here as well. And we shall end our turn. We will not surrender against these fools. I desperately need a new skull collection, and uh, these Ivory Coast, they look very interesting people, very, very nice uh, skull shape. I want to add to my collection, so we must win this war no matter what. See guys, if Nemembi Maxentius needs a skull collection, shit needs to happen quickly. So hopefully, we're going to be able to break through here and win. Um, I can't wait for even more reinforcements. We're going to be constantly recruiting units, um, and that hopefully will help us. Whoa! Argentina just annexed Paraguay. Now, Paraguay is small. Argentina is massive, so I'm not all that surprised. But as you can see here, Argentina is actually um, a nationalist state. They overthrew the democratic government of Argentina and created a nationalist state. Uh, so these guys could prove to be the, the fascist future of South America. They might go ahead and try to take Uruguay next. Who knows? Um, and try to spread their influence all through South America. And that would be pretty terrifying. Of course, it's not going to affect us at all. Maybe I will even send them a fruit basket. Uh, to give them congratulations. We don't really care. We're dictators. <laughs> you know, our form of government really isn't left or right. It's whatever is, uh, is, is acceptable at the time. We're almost populists, uh, dicta dictator slash populists. Uh, we don't really have um, any particular sphere of, of, uh, of, of political thought or ideology. Uh, we're just dictators. It's that simple. And that's all we need. We just need to say, we are the MMB Maxentius. We rule this place, and that is it. You, do, you cannot do anything about it. Uh, that's basically how it's going to go. Okay, Greater Argentina. What did I tell you guys? Um, the nationalist government that seized uh, power in Buenos Aires is now making expansionist threats and claims against Uruguayan territory. Um, and I expected that to happen, and sure enough, they are going to be going to war with Uruguay. Uh, this is going to be interesting. If Argentina ends up breaking through uh, to Uruguay, that's going to make things very scary. Now, it looks like our men are doing very well here in the south. Uh, so let's actually send this cavalry over here uh, to Odien. And I'm going to cancel the move order for this guy. And move him over here to Odien. Hold on, men. Do not surrender yet. We still have two more units over here we could send over to. 
I want to keep probably one guy back just to watch for riots, but really, in a time of war like this, we can't worry too much about riots. We need to get our guys out there, and we need to get them out there quick. And the fact that we're still making a surplus on food and money uh, leads me to believe that uh, things are okay for us right now, but we are losing a lot of other resources uh, quite quickly due to this war. Engineers and infantry, wonderful. I cannot wait to sacrifice them to the gods. Oh, wait, we're not a theocracy yet. We need to wait. Okay. <coughs> here we go. Uh, grab this guy here. Sorry, guys. Bit of a cold here. I'm going to move to Sassandra, and uh, I will grab this infantry here and move him to Odien. And end our turn. There we go, we've taken one province, guys, and now we have to decide whether to go straight for the capital or to assist our friends over here in the north, in Odien, in this territory. Uh, we might do that, or we might just march on the capital and take it right now. Um, it's awfully tempting to just go straight for the capital and secure victory soon. Um, and eventually, we do have to consider the possibility of making a theocratic government. That's what our people truly want, but we have so many different religions in Liberia. How do we know which is the right one to pick? I'm very confused. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And don't forget, Liberia forever.